So, before I get into the meat of today's video, let me explain to you guys how I got the idea to create it in the first place. Okay, so uh, let's let's go back in time, way, way, way back when. I don't really remember back when, I'd say probably about a year or so ago. Probably, yeah, about two, two, three years ago, okay? And I went to this one website because I was trying to download something. I don't really remember what I was trying to download, but it was a big file. And in order to download it, it said I had to get a premium account. So I went to go get the premium account. But in order to get the premium account, I had to sign up for a different website called Badu. And since Badu lets you sign up with your Facebook, I decided to sign up with my Facebook. Except, however, plot twist, it turns out my little sister was actually logged in on her, her Facebook on my computer. Now, as to why she was logged in on my computer, I know not even to this day, but she was. And so, because I had signed into Facebook with her name, it had Zaylin, you know, my little sister. So, I wasn't going to post a fucking picture of my little sister up there at the time, because she was only like 12 years old. So, instead, what I decided to do was to get a picture off the internet. But, I figured that I had to get a picture that so clearly indicated that this account was absolutely fucking fake. So, what I did was I took a picture of Angie Verona this picture right here and I posted it up and this was my profile picture because the website said I needed to have a profile picture in order for my account to be approved for you know the premium you know so guys what happened next blew my mind so many guys messaged me that day eventually it got to a point where I was like oh my gosh I literally cannot even respond to the first guy before another guy messages me this is cray cray well i didn't actually say that but what i did say was this was this is this is actually pretty interesting and so i got the idea to hmm maybe i should compare and contrast you know because i had always thought and i'm pretty sure other guys before me have done this before but i've never seen a video on youtube of this being done so i figured hell you know may as well create the market right <laughs> so with the prologue finally being announced, and you guys know the whole reason why I decided to make this video, I think it's time to explain to you guys. Uh, this video is what it is like being a man on a dating website versus what it is like being a woman. And this video is the first part where I'm going to be a man and I'm going to compare and contrast my experiences while being myself and while being a pretty lady on a dating website. With that being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoy today's video, and let's get started. Okay, so first I thought about uh, what dating website am I going to use to conduct this social experiment. And at first I considered doing Plenty of Fish, but in all honesty, I really don't like the website all that much. So uh, I decided I was going to do um, I was going to do OK Cupid. I had seen an ad for OK Cupid, and I was like, I mean, let's do this. You know, this is. This, you know, let's 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 do it. So, uh, first things first, I'm gonna read you guys my uh, my profile, so you guys saw what everybody else saw. You know, majority of the time I was on this website. So let's let's do this. So uh, my username is Z1 underscore Taco. I did not make up this username; it was randomly generated because search was already taken by somebody. So, um, okay, let's let's check out my self summary. I say I am a tall, nappy-headed guy on the internet. <laughs> I make YouTube videos that challenge the well, that's supposed to be norms and ideas most people have to help everyone try to live a better life. I am intelligent, reasonable, and emotional, all rolled into one. I want to be a screen play writer and an actor and a voice actor in the future. I want to find a woman that will truly love and support me. Someone who is kind and intelligent. <laughs> I really don't care all that much about looks, which is true. So I say, what am I doing with my life? I'm a, currently a college student and a rising YouTuber. As you can see, I have a very healthy opinion of myself. <laughs> Go on. Um, I'm really good at making YouTube videos, martial arts, uh, writing, and reading. Over on the right, you can see what I'm looking for. You know, uh, you know all that, all that good stuff. You can see I'm straight. I'm black, Native American, 5'11". I'm fit. Okay, so uh, my favorite books, favorite movies, and all that good stuff. Uh, favorite books: Aragon, Intervention. By the way, for those of y'all who don't know, uh, I wrote the book Intervention. No one probably knows what Intervention is. 
because I, I never really advertised it, but I did, I wrote that book, and I'm damn proud of it. Anyway, uh, Deathly Hollows, uh, favorite movies, Spider-Man 2, Karate Kid, The Sea Inside, City of God, those are all spectacular movies in my opinion. I mean, there's more, but I, I just, you know, I didn't want to take up this entire space filling up with my my favorite movies. Uh, Vampire Diaries is my shit. I love me some Vampire Diaries. Uh, Vampire Diaries, The Flash, and The Originals are actually the only shows that come on on television that I keep up with. Uh, I listen to anything except country and heavy metal, and sometimes, sometimes I listen to country, but that's very, very seldomly will I ever listen to country, and I just don't listen to heavy metal at all. Six things I can never do without, uh, God, uh, Chi Manipulation, Martial Arts, My Surface, copies of my books, and a future family. You know, simple stuff. Uh, I spend a lot of time thinking about Chi Energy and making YouTube videos, which is absolutely true, actually. On a typical Friday night, I'm not doing a goddamn thing, which is true. Usually on a Friday night, I'm, I'm rendering videos or I'm minding my own business doing nothing. <laughs> I say you should message me if you love having intelligent conversations and are willing to open up a little bit. As you can see, my stats again are over here on the right-hand corner. So, with that being said, let's kind of let's let's get into my results. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't get pump diddly shit. I didn't get much of anything. In all honesty, I have only actually gotten three out of the six people in my message box actually messaged me first actually and i can only i don't even count jody hex because she's a friend of mine who already who i already knew so she already knows me she didn't even, she wasn't even actually messaging me to talk to me or anything like that she was just saying hi um raylan summer i messaged her first and actually one thing you'll notice is the women who did talk to me or respond to me <laughs> deleted their account so i mean i i, I clearly nothing came out of me messaging them alice doesn't count she works here at ok cupid Lucky Star and Love Laugh Love Oops were the only two people who messaged me first. Everyone else I messaged first. Now I know. Them. Now these are only the people who fucking responded to me. Okay, and the only people who actually responded to me was one, two, three, three people. Right? For well, three people at the time I took this screenshot, there was actually another person who responded to me, and she is right here. As you can see, one of the only people who actually responded to me was someone by the name of Babe Omatic 666. Now, anyone who's read the book Revelation knows that the number 666 is the number of the second beast. So, uh, she and I probably won't be talking anytime soon. However, if you notice something interesting, if you take a look at the upper right hand corner, you can see that we actually have a 7% match rate and a 54% enemy rate. Now, for anyone who's never been on OKCupid OK before, you probably have absolutely no idea what that's about. So, I'm going to explain it to you. OKCupid OK uses a pretty interesting matching system. Basically, what you have to do is you have to answer a fuck ton of questions. And you have to rate how important the answer to that question is to see whether or not you match. Based on the importance of how you rate a question, you can either match higher with certain people or turn off to be an enemy to other people should you have an answer that is different and you rate the importance of that question really really high now to be completely honest i didn't give a golly fuck about that system in fact the only thing that i ever thought about when i was looking for people to talk to was whether or not i was attracted to them or not so if i saw a pretty lady i would message her now here's the thing i messaged well over 50 people well not, not well over but I mean I messaged with over 50 people and like I said only about five people actually responded to talk to me and then three of those people then deleted their accounts now honestly it is a flipping fantastic thing that I wasn't actually trying to get a relationship out of this website because I would have freaking failed like it is ridiculous how many messages and how many different people or women I tried to talk to and I didn't get plump diddly squat out of it now I know what some of you guys are thinking you guys are probably thinking well you know sirs maybe maybe those girls just didn't get your message maybe they just didn't see you okay well bullshit because one cool thing about OkCupid is that you can actually see who visited your profile 
right? So, for example, uh, Kim Exo, you know, sent her a message. Um, she clearly got the message because she later went to my profile, checked it out, saw I was some nappy headed nigga on the internet, and was like, no. Nah. So, uh, yeah, it was, I, I hardly got anything. Um, hardly got to talk to anybody. It, it, it was a, honestly very crappy experience and I will probably <laughs> never try online dating again because I know damn well I'm not gonna fucking pay for eHarmony so I guess now I can chat about some trends that I saw a couple of things that uh, came up uh, several times one thing that I saw a lot on this website was there were a lot of single mothers on this website they like and I saw a lot of women who's like I have a kid I have a baby and I was honestly shocked you know to, to, to see that there are actually a bunch of women looking for fucking fathers to their children on OkCupid. I was like, yeah, well, because honestly, the moment I saw they had children, I immediately lost attraction. I was like, mm-mm, nah. But actually, I still sent the messages just because I wanted to see if they were going to reply, and they didn't, so it's good for me. Shit. <laughs> you know, I also saw a lot of overweight women, a lot of fat women are here on OkCupid. And I saw a lot of bisexual women on OKCupid too. I thought it was, I, I thought it was a little weird. I thought it was a little weird. A, a bunch of, an overwhelming majority of women. Well, I wouldn't say an overwhelming majority, but a, a significant fraction of the women that I saw on OKCupid were bisexual. And I, I just, I don't know. I, I thought it was pretty interesting. See, you got a lot of overweight bisexual women with children here on OKCupid, and there are of course a lot of really beautiful, decent girls on OKCupid. You know, but um, we're going to chat about that in the next video. So those are just some trends that I saw. And my overwhelming experience on OkCupid was garbage. It was terrible. I would not recommend this website to anyone. But we're going to talk about that in the next video. So, uh, yeah, next video, uh, I'm going to be a woman on OkCupid. And we're going to compare and contrast. And we're going to see the difference between, you know, having a dick on OkCupid and, uh, you know, having a hole in between your legs. So, uh... Yeah, and honestly guys, the result that I got while being a woman on OkCupid will probably not shock you at all. However, let's take that plunge anyway. So with that being said, I certainly hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, man, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Comment in the comment box below. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you cool cats soon. Adios.